for losing a deal is actually not competition, it's the customer deciding not to do anything. Hey everybody, welcome to Coach's Corner. We have Bob Apollo with us again, and we're going to be talking about cost of inactivity, COI. Welcome, Bob. Hey, George. So today's topic, COI, tell us what is that and why is that important? Yeah, I think it's actually a critical concept in any uh, complex business-to-business decision. And COI refers to cost of inaction. What would happen if the customer sticks with the status quo, does nothing, carries on just as they have in the past? Which is probably the most common w- reason why, why we don't win a deal, right? They, they stick with their status quo. Most of the statistics, and there's a bunch of organizations been looking at this, have concluded that the most common reason for losing a deal is actually not competition, it's the customer deciding not to do anything. So we've heard a lot about ROI and people have spent a lot of mon- money and time on creating solid ROIs, return of investments. But why is COI possibly more important, do you think? Well, uh, it's at least as equally as important. And it's more important at the early stages of a sales cycle when you're trying to determine whether the customer is motivated uh, to change away from their current path. It's really supported by a lot of research by people like Daniel Kahneman, who published Thinking Fast and Slow. And he found in his behavioral studies that people and organizations are two to three times more likely to change from their current situation in response to a perceived risk or threat than they are in the hope of some sort of future gain. So that idea that There's a cost and consequences associated with carrying on on your current path is a really important concept. What type of questions do you ask to get people to get that insight that they they might be costing them money by doing nothing? So you're looking for a mixture of both financial and non-financial negative consequences of just carrying on. Uh, You might, for example, ask them, So what would happen if you simply carried on? Uh, Who else would be affected? What would be the consequences? How would this affect your ability to achieve the strategic priorities you've just described to me? So I guess you could then weave in the cost of inaction into an ROI. Uh, Absolutely. And uh, what you can do um, is to draw a contrast between the cost of inaction and the potential benefits expressed as a return on investment. So the bigger the gap between the cost and consequences of inaction and the perceived benefits of action expressed in terms of return on investment, really then you're covering both ends of the decision-making spectrum. Why change and why choose us and why change now? You can inject urgency if there's a strong cost of inaction, if there's a strong contrast Mm -hmm. between that cost of inaction and the projected return on investment. So what steps would you suggest adding to a sales process to make sure that everyone is is adding this dialogue or these questions to their their, uh, behaviors? And this is an absolutely critical component of good discovery. So I'd want to be Um, reminding, encouraging, guiding salespeople to not just look for a need, but to look for the consequences of that need or that issue not being satisfied and to do so early on in the sales cycle. Yeah, I mean, in a conventional sales cycle, you might call it discovery. Um, Mm -hmm. And you'd want to make sure that your discussion absolutely includes, you know, the what would happen if you did nothing conversation. Yeah. And I'm sure that would be seen as as good insights if you do it well by by the customer and increase the, your trustworthiness and, and uh, respect by the customer when you do this right. I think it's absolutely because you're not just trying to sell them a solution. You're trying to understand more about why it's so important to them. Yeah. Uh, and another related question, which can be very helpful, is to ask them how they've been trying to deal with the issue so far and what the 
results have been and why they perhaps now believe that they need to take a different approach to addressing the problem. Um, if they've tried and they're failing, that is another very, very powerful driver of action. Yeah, super. Solid advice, Bob, as always. Thanks, George. Day. Thanks for the invitation. Mm -hmm.